Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I am bringing you lots of cleaning motivation today as we are cleaning and undecorating my house. We are removing all of my summer decor and getting the house ready to decorate for fall. So definitely make sure that you hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my fall decorate with me video that is coming up real soon. Let's go ahead and get right into cleaning. So I feel like I didn't go too crazy with summer in my house this year. I just put a few touches here and there because as most of you guys know, if you've been following my channel for a while, my boyfriend and I tackled a ton of renovations in my home this summer. We have had a lot of time off of work and so we have done so many rooms in the house that I didn't really decorate any of them for summer. I just kind of decorated them in general. So I'm really excited now that almost all the rooms in the house are done. I'm going to be able to fully decorate for fall and I had so much stuff left over from last year and I got a few new things so definitely make sure that you check out my last video I'll have it linked below it is my Hobby Lobby haul and I show you all the stuff that I picked up new this year for me to decorate with but I am so excited to share with you guys all the ideas and stuff that I have planned for fall I'm also really excited for the fall recipes and drinks and really fun things like that so definitely let me know by hitting the like button if you want to see more fall content from me favorite ways to decorate is to have certain pieces that I can use in different parts of the house that are pretty neutral and they work for multiple seasons. So I was pretty pleased that I was able to keep most of the stuff that I had on my tiered tray and that I was able to use that for decorating in the fall as well and I just removed all of the things that were seasonal. But Jack and I are just clearing a few things off the table. He had a few things to put in the shed for me and I just wanted to get this space completely cleared off so that I could get it clean. When I decorate for fall, I love having a blank canvas basically when I decorate for any season I love having a blank canvas it just makes it so much easier for me to lay everything out and see what I'm working with so I cannot wait to share that video with you guys super soon Some of you guys are so observant and you noticed our little kitten in my last video and this is Josie. She is 12 weeks old and we just got her the other day. She is the sweetest kitten ever, but we are trying to get her used to different sounds. The robot vacuum, the vacuum cleaner, the washing machine, basically you name it. I'm trying to expose her to it since I'm normally running around the house getting stuff done and I want her to be acclimated. So she is just the sweetest and I will be doing a dedicated video all about her very soon so be on the lookout for that So I wanted to put this grove haul in the middle of this video so that you guys could see a few of the products that I'm going to be cleaning with in my cleaning videos from now until we get ready for the holidays. And this was the perfect time for me to get a few of these things because I was getting low on multi-surface spray, dish soap, and I'm getting low on my mop concentrate. So you're going to see some of the things that I got. And if you guys don't know what the Grove Collaborative is, I'm going to have my link down below. If you guys make a purchase, you guys will get a free set of cleaning products and everything. It's worth like $35. So definitely make sure that you use my link down below so you guys can get some free products, which is really exciting, but let's go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna start with the only thing that I got for my classroom, and that is this thing of hand sanitizer. It is hand sanitizer gel, and this is a personal thing for me. I'm not having kids in my class. Um, it's just gonna be me in there, but I wanted to make sure that I had hand sanitizer. And this is in the blood orange scent. It is super, super good smelling. So this is a nice size bottle. This is their large bottle and they also have a travel size one as well. So if you are in need of some hand sanitizer, this does sell out really quickly though. So if you need some, definitely make sure you grab it. The next thing that I got is a replacement for the sink strainer that I already have in my sink. I feel like I have to clean it so often that I wanted to get two and they actually had it in white this time and I love it. It is 
uh, like rubber on the outside here. It fits really nicely and it catches all the food and everything. And then it also does have a little stopper here if you need to fill this thing up with water. But I love this and I already have one. So now I can switch them out. And if I have one in the dishwasher, then I can put this one in the sink, which is really nice. My freebie um, this month, which I'm really excited about, you guys, I get a lot of little freebies and stuff as part of being a VIP member um, on the Grove Collaborative, and it's really not that expensive to become a VIP member. You get free shipping, and um, you pay like a $15 a year fee, but that basically just includes your shipping, and you get so much free stuff. It's well worth the $15. But anyway, they sent me this matte white cleaning caddy, which you guys know if you have seen some of my cleaning videos before, I love these cleaning caddies because I put everything that I need to clean a bathroom in it and then I just keep it either in the linen closet or under the sink, ready to go to do any kind of cleaning that I need. And I'm definitely in the need of another one because I think I want to keep one um, like handy for my kitchen and stuff and doing like my laundry room or things like that. So I was really happy that they sent this for me or to me for free since I'm a VIP member. And then in this caddy came a bunch of the fall scents, which I am ready to show you now, guys. I am so excited. So I did have a couple of hand soaps that were left over from last year. So I did not buy any hand soaps and I always save my hand soaps and change them out seasonally. So I have some that are spring scented, some that are winter scented, some that are fall scented. So I did have an apple cider um, hand soap that was left over from last year. So I'm going to be using that. And then I got a few of the fall scents in the dish soap and in the multi-surface spray. And the first one that I got is the acorn scent. And I don't believe that I've ever tried this one before, but I only got this scent in the dish soap, not in the multi-surface spray. Um, the Grove Collaborative also has an exclusive scent with Mrs. Myers, and it is a pumpkin spice, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, pumpkin spice. And I had a multi-surface spray left over from last year that I held on to. And I know that they are still selling those products, but they go so, so fast. So definitely use the link down below if you want to get your hands on that. But these you can find if you don't get them on the Grove Collaborative, you can get these Mrs. Meyer scents usually in most stores, but sometimes they're out, especially the fall scents, they go really fast. So this is the acorn one. This is one of my favorite scents. This is the mum scent and I got it in the multi-surface spray and in the dish soap. And I go through a dish soap, like this size dish soap, pretty quickly. I do hand wash a lot of dishes and I feel like that's probably why. Um, if you're somebody who puts a lot of stuff in the dishwasher, maybe you're like, I don't go through dish soap that fast, um, but I do. And I use these multi-surface sprays on basically everything in my house. I just love the way that they smell. They're clean, non-toxic. It just, it makes me feel really good to use these. Um, so this is in the mom scent. And then the last set that I got was in the apple cider scent and this matches the hand soap that I already have. And this is the dish soap. And then I also got the multi-service spray in this one as well. And this one is like, oh my gosh, this one's probably, this one and the mum are probably tied for my favorite. So I'm very excited to break these guys out. And then the last thing I got was a multi-surface concentrate that I use in my mop bucket. So I have the O-Cedar Spin Mop and I will link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. It is the best mop ever. I love it so much. Um, but I use a multi-surface concentrate. So this is the Mrs. Meyers multi-surface concentrate in the geranium scent. They don't have very many options for this. I think they have like honeysuckle, lemon verbena, and this one. Um, so they don't offer fall scents in these, at least not on the Grove Collaborative. I haven't found them anywhere else. If you guys have found these anywhere else in like the fall exclusive scents, let me know because I bet this would be delicious on my floors. But anyway, I just use like a cap full of this in a bucket of warm water and that's how I mop my floor. So anyway, that's all the stuff that I got from the Grove Collaborative. I'm very pumped about this. So you guys are gonna see some of these products in action and you're going to see the dish soaps and the hand soaps and stuff all set out when I do my fall decorate with me. And that video is coming out very soon. So definitely make sure that you are um, subscribed to my channel and that your notifications are turned on. And let's go ahead and get back to cleaning. So I hope you guys enjoyed that Grove Collaborative haul. My link is down below if you guys want to go and check out some of those products. These fall scents are absolutely amazing and I feel like it's the easiest way to decorate because especially in a bathroom you can put out a really fun scented hand soap and a nice towel and a candle and call it good. So decorating this room is definitely going to be pretty easy. 
funny that this song is called last call of summer because that is exactly how I'm feeling right now as we are transitioning back to school and fall is coming up I'm definitely so ready for it and I feel like these are just the last few weeks of summer and I definitely want to enjoy them I know that it can be so easy to want to rush into a new season but I want to soak up the last couple of weeks of summer while I can let me know down in the comments what season is your favorite do you love spring summer are you just so anxious for a cooler weather like I am definitely let me know how you're feeling down below. We are moving on to the living room and I only have a few things that I need to pick up and put away in here. Mostly cat toys. They seem to be taking over my house, but not a bad thing. I absolutely love her. And I'm just gonna fold up this blanket here. I love snuggling on the couch with this blanket. It's big enough for basically the whole neighborhood if they wanted to come over. And I am hopefully getting a new couch cover that's going to be covering this couch up. And if it works and it fits, you guys will be seeing that in my fall decorate with me video. I just really want to get a new couch but I think I'm gonna wait until I find the perfect one and just save the money for a little bit so I just got a couch cover I found on Amazon and I'm really hoping that it works out I think it will help me to love this couch a little bit longer and just kind of deal with the fact that it doesn't really match this room but it works right now especially with a new kitten so I'm just covering up the couch with a blanket here and then I'm going to remove just a few of the summary pieces that I have here in the living room I'm burning up the last of my summer candles. I only have a couple left and they are pretty much finished. So I just wanna finish burning those. There are a few that I had just kind of started. So I will probably put the lid on those and save them for next year. I'm definitely a big fan of getting big candles and if I don't use them up, I will just store them in a cabinet and then pull them out when the season changes again. And I'm leaving a lot of this stuff here because I plan on decorating this for fall. The lantern works, the wood works in the fireplace. Lots of things like this are pretty neutral and so they work for whatever season. So I'm very excited to kind of see where the decor takes me. I really don't have a big plan here. I just kind of want to look at everything that I have. And you know how I am when I decorate. If you have watched my videos before, I just kind of have to play around with things until I figure out exactly what looks good and I'm very excited. Right 
As I was wiping down this table, I noticed that the little pads on the bottom of the feet had started to fall off and that just kind of helps the floor from being scratched. So I'm just putting those back on and then I noticed that the lamp cord was a little bit too short and so it kind of makes me nervous with the kitten that there's a possibility that she could knock this over and just pull the whole lamp down and either hurt herself or hurt the lamp. And so I decided to go upstairs and get an extension cord and then that way I could tuck the cord underneath the couch and then that way in case she accidentally walked by or something, she wouldn't trip over it, I wouldn't trip over it. I think this just makes it so much easier now that the cord is a little bit longer. So that took care of that hazardous situation. <laughs> I totally forgot to mention to you guys this new rug here in the living room, the big one, not the small ones. I originally had a carpet remnant from my upstairs carpet in here and I moved it to the studio if you guys saw that video and instead I got this new carpet and it is from Home Goods. It is the Magnolia Home Collection and I didn't even know that they had the Magnolia Home Collection at Home Goods. I was actually pretty surprised to see it there, but I absolutely love it. It's not super high pile rug and I just put like a little slip thing under it so that it doesn't slide around on the floor but I think the color looks so nice with the living room and I'm very very happy with it so you guys should definitely check out home goods if you're looking for a new rug I had honestly no idea that the Magnolia home stuff was there so I was very pleasantly surprised it was like $150 and then when I went to go look it up online I found the same rug listed for like $400 at other stores so definitely shop around for some good deals home goods is a place for that we also looked at at home but anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. The last thing that I'm doing here is just folding up and putting away a little bit of laundry. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you are subscribed and have those bell notifications turned on. That way you don't miss my fall decorate with me video or any of my brand new videos that are coming out soon. And I will see you guys really, really soon with that fall decorate with me video. Bye friends. Not that we were cruel enough to